then we have the powertrain powertrain is something that provides power or a vehicle powerhouse that provides power input to the drivetrain so there are basically in other words we can say engine and transmission or motor and transmission so transmission unit combined together is power drivetrain and engine is your powertrain so engine and transmission we combinedly say so engine or motor it it provides the power to the drivetrain or the transmission unit and then it goes to the wheels so how is it done we will see that also uh, we we have uh, probably today or tomorrow tomorrow we have the uh, discussion about the drivetrain also so engine we are going to discuss in a couple of minutes now then we have the drivetrain as i said it makes use of some drive axles some gearboxes and a transmission unit like uh, gearboxes a transmission unit and differential also and a propeller shaft or a drive axles sometimes so this is your drivetrain the system that connects the powertrain to the drive axles drive axles means the axle that is transmitting this power to the wheels in order to roll it out so do you know the meaning of gear ratio you should also focus because there are, there is the only thing that is gear ratio in power transmission devices or drive trains so this is the use of gearbox which uh, allows us to go on different speed and torque in gear 1 2 3 4 and so on so we will understand like tomorrow what are the gear ratios and what is the gearbox what is the differential and how they work together how they are coupled together in order to uh, drive the vehicle in a detailed and controlled and designed manner pre designed manner we, we could say, say then we have hvac in not in every vehicle we have hvac in two wheelers we do not have hvac so what is hvac hvac is heating ventilation and air conditioning so partially we could have in two wheelers also hvac but not completely the technology of vehicular environmental comfort for heating ventilation and air conditioning is known as hvac so this makes use of engine power to run some uh, compressor and, and to run some blowers it makes use of the engine power and it gives you uh, the desired environmental comfort inside the vehicle cabin it could be heating up the vehicle it could be cooling down the vehicle so there are a lot of things and do you know the working of car ac this this leads to a detailed discussion about hvac so there are some ducts so in driver's cabin there needs to be the air flow going and in passenger cabin also there needs to be the air flow going so there are ducts there are some fans there are some blowers there are uh, the compressor and some heat hoses some uh, some some coolant or some uh, gas or uh, uh, the a lot of devices are there or wire, wiring harness is there and the refrigerant lines are there a lot of things are there so in hvac so do you know the working of your car ac working means i i do not intend to say to press the button and the car ac will turn on no the behind engineering the background engineering when you press the button and when actually the cool air or the or the hot air starts flowing from the unit what actually is happening behind the curtains so you should focus on that so when you press the button what starts running when it starts running what actually is happening inside uh, the compressor or inside the uh, radiator or inside the condenser unit so that you should try to explore then we have the electrical system the network of all the electrical devices sensors and wiring harness designed to control the vehicle operation and performance is known as the electrical system so you need to uh, power up your headlamps your tail lamps your music system your uh, infotainment and your safety system your windows power system steering system everything you have to you have to you know power up so for that you need some wirings you need some sensors you need some properly designed and structured things so that electrical system is known as the network of electrical devices sensors and wiring harness to control Uh, the vehicle operations and performance so do you know the engine ignition system so there is a designed fashion of igniting the engine 
uh, with the help of the electrical system or we, we say it as electrical ignition system, electronic ignition system. So uh, we will have a discussion about this also. And it starts the internal combustion engine. The engine systems are almost over now and it starts with this internal combustion engine. The IC engine is the heat engine in which the combustion of the fuel with oxygen uh, of the air occurs within the cylinder. OK, before uh, just discussing the internal internal combustion engines, I'll just discuss brief about the heat engine. A heat engine is something that makes use of the heat and convert that into mechanical power. So there are external combustion engines in which the combustion happens out of the chamber, out of the cylinder or somewhere else, but not inside the cylinder. And that heat is converted into mechanical power with a lot of various types of arrangements. But our point of discussion over here is the internal combustion engine. So internal combustion engine is the heat engine. Heat engine means the engine that works on the principle that it converts the heat energy into mechanical energy. OK, so IC engine is the heat engine in which the combustion of the fuel with the oxygen, it happens inside the combustion chamber or the cylinder. So if we have to uh, just break down the IC engines, then there will be the rotary engines and there will be the reciprocating engine. So you must you you might be exposed to the reciprocating engines, uh, the gasoline engine and the diesel engine or or other. In other words, we say that spark ignition engine or SI engine and the compression ignition engine or the CI engine. And in rotary, we have the open cycle gas turbine and Wankel engine. So these are some things that are very complex and uh, you might not be a lot of uh, you, you might not be having a lot of knowledge about these things. Though we uh, though our uh, discussion just goes around the SI and CI and two stroke and four stroke engine. So we'll stay focused on that. So do you know the full form of SI engine, which I just told you? SI engine is nothing but the spark ignition engine. OK, so this was uh, about the, uh, the the classification of the IC engine. First rotary engine and re reciprocating engine. Yes, based on the strokes, based on the fuel, there are different engines also in the next slide we have so far. So, so just for the instance, I, I will just uh, tell the engine parts. We have first of all, we have the combustion chamber. Then we have the cylinder block. Then we have the cylinder head. We have valves. We have valve drains. We have cams, crank, crank shaft, gudgeon pin, connecting rod, and crank case, and uh, the maybe a lot of other parts also. But these are the main parts. So we will see engine anatomy. So you will see over here there is a schematic of the engine. And just don't bother about its compression or its spark ignition or if it is two stroke or four stroke. Just try to see what are the parts. The parts would be similar in two stroke and four stroke. The parts would be somewhat similar in spark ignition and compression ignition engines. So there is a camshaft, there is a cam, there is an intake wall, exhaust wall, combustion chamber, cylinder block, uh, cylinder head, and connecting rod, camshaft valve spring, exhaust and cylinder head, cooling system and piston and crankcase. So these are some parts that are the uh, part of the engine. OK, engine and anatomy, we will define these parts and we'll also uh, take help of a video. 